Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful night in the garden. It's very cold out here. Um, tonight is the first night of Hanukkah, and I wanted to do a pour for you guys with some beautiful Hanukkah colors in this wonderful template that I have from Pour Away Fluid Arts, which I'm really, really excited about. It's this beautiful mandala pattern. Uh, this is the one in the last video we did in the Jewel Tree. We had actually put the resin down and set the template in there, so this is already ready to go. Uh, normally you'd need to do this like 24 hours in advance to make sure that it's cured before you actually put starting your colors in there. So uh, the colors we're using tonight are some of my absolute favorites from this little piggy pigments. This is TLP Sapphire and you can see what color it is on the stick, the stir stick. I have put my resin in my little bottles in these two ounce squeeze bottles. Several of you were awesome and gave me some recommendations. And one of those suggestions was squeeze bottles, so thank you very much. Uh, I do have my little heating pad here that everything has been warming up on. I have a couple of extra ounces of resin just in case we want another color. But this is the Deep Sapphire from this Little Piggy Pigments. The next one we're using is Twinkle, which you can see this color here is really pretty. This iridescent kind of bluish green shift on there. Really pretty stuff, that's that one. And then I am using a new color. This is Waterfall. This is the new color inspired for my Karen Dershin from this little piggy. I love this stuff, it's so pretty. This is Waterfall right here. Beautiful, really true blue color, just gorgeous stuff. I'm really excited about using this one. That's that one there. And then the last one we're using is Frost, which is really, really pretty. A beautiful light blue, shimmery, silvery-ish sparkle on there. That's frost. So the game plan that I have is to kind of do some concentric lines surrounding in a sort of a, I decided to put the twinkle in the middle of those two blues because I really like it and I like the contrast. So we're gonna start with that deep sapphire. Um, I have used art resin tonight, uh, mixed it 50-50, the resin and the hardener. Stir it for three minutes. There's my cup, still got a couple of ounces in there just in case. I have a little mold standing by for any extra resin we might have left over. This is the little guy from the leftover resin that we did from Jewel Tree. It turned out so cute. And I encourage you guys to have a couple of these little molds. I think this one is one of the ones that I love. This is a little dragon I made for HOA. But in just a couple of different colors, little bits of resin that you have left over, they come out really, really pretty and cool. So this was awesome. Okay. So let's get started. We're gonna use our deep sapphire first. Okay. Here we go, we're gonna start over here on this corner. And this resin is warm. It has been sitting on the heating pad for a while. And here we go. Hey, I'm gonna put my glasses on. <laughs> Just so I can make sure I can see everything. And the thing that I learned from doing the last one is don't overfill them. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. And then I'm gonna take this bamboo skewer. Actually, I found these little spoons that came with some glitter pack or something. It's actually got a picture of some coffee on there, but I'm just gonna kind of use this to push it around and push it to the edge. have to add a bit more, but I'd rather add more than have too much. We did that last time, it wasn't fun. But the really cool thing about the last one is even though I didn't do it perfectly, because we had done it on that um, transparent acrylic board, the plexiglass, it was awesome because from the back it's absolutely perfect. That just tickled me for some reason. Of course, having baby wipes while you are working with resin is a great thing to do. I have one standing by just in case. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit in here. Squeeze bottle working pretty good. As 
HOA had pointed out in the last video, you don't need a lot when you're putting the, the 3D printed piece onto the resin. As a matter of fact, it's probably better if you don't have as much as I do because then it gives you less volume to fill up inside, which is not always a good thing. Oh, we're going with the sapphire stuff. So, okay, so now we're gonna do this one. What happened if you let it sit in there and level? Yeah, it would. And then went to the next one and then came back to it later. And the nice thing about this is one of the comments you guys had left was that, you know, it looked like a lot of fun, but you didn't have that much time. And this is resin. So you could, instead of mixing up four colors and doing it all at once, mix up one color. Do one color, spend half an hour playing with it, walk away and let it dry, and then the next day when you have some time, come back and do the next layer. You know? It's a cool idea. Yeah. Sort of an ongoing project. Don't have to do it all at once. That's cool. You go a little faster from here on out. <laughs> you're suggesting I put some in here now and by the time I get there it'll have leveled out. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. What do you think? Uh-huh. Okay, so now the next one we're going to do is that twinkle. These lids are so hard to get off. It's amazing. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we got 
this one goes with it, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a teeny tiny one that needs to do yeah. the, the waterfall. suggestion of just let it spread out. Excellent suggestion, thank you. Do I get a screen credit? <laughs> no. Sure. Does that make you a technical advisor? Okay. Good. Well, almost halfway there. A little past halfway. Yeah? More than halfway. Okay, so now we go waterfall again. See what I tell you? Mm -hmm. You're a smart cookie, Joy. That's <laughs> pretty cool so far, man. No.
century, isn't it, Sapphire? Ah, uh, yes. This is a. What if I just kind of do it? Alternating. Do you want to cycle through all four colors or just do. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> huh? I said, damn kid. <laughs> I got skills. <laughs> you got luck. <laughs> no. Luck favors the prepared, my love. <laughs> Blast the whole thing with torchy once, just for drill. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very Hanukkah. Okay. So 
Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy Hanukkah to you all from HOA and I and our girls and everybody at our house. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. We'll see you soon. Okay, so this is 24 hours later. It is dry now. Turned out pretty cool. I love these colors and I love that shape, that beautiful kind of ornament shape with the deep sapphire and the twinkle and the waterfall. It's just so pretty. And frost came out really, really cool. I'm very pleased with this. Not completely 100% perfect, but I think the squeeze bottles were a big help. My issue was just timing. So maybe with an ornate one that's kind of intricate, I would definitely recommend maybe doing it in more than one sitting instead of all at once. Um, I did have some issues with my resin starting to <laughs> set up at the very, very end when we were doing the border. So I was really happy that we managed to get that finished. Um, you know, I could have mixed up more resin, but it took a while. So maybe doing these in more than one sitting, do a little bit each day, one color each day would be awesome. So thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. HOA and I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful Hanukkah. Um, I hope you let the light shine into your heart and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. We will see you guys very, very soon with some surprise news. <laughs> Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.